Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Don't do anything for appearances. Now, if y'all been following me a long time, or especially if you read my book, uh, Nice Guys and Players, and Sexual Chemistry, I talk about this as well, it's being a real man. Now, what that mean is this. It don't, it don't mean like you like some big old alpha, which y'all know I don't really like that term, just using it here for reference, or, you know, some big powerful man or some, one, or some man who is doing stuff for women. No, it means being authentic with whatever that you are and who you are and what you like, you know, because you have a lot of men they, uh, especially in this space, they want to put on appearances to appear like they something, especially to women. Or, you know, they can even expand that to their other life. You know, if they in their circle of friends, they trying to act like the man or they know all this or nothing's bothering them or anything like that. But it's a facade. It's a mask. Don't do that. Whatever you are, whatever you like, you need to be authentically liking it. Like, I'll tell somebody, no, I don't get into that particular thing. That ain't me. I don't worry about it. I ain't trying to impress them. You know? Like, this is who I am. This is what I'm about. I don't need to, to like, put on some appearance for people. You know? That's why when y'all see me, shoot. In fact, uh, people don't realize I live... Personally, a damn near almost a minimalist lifestyle, except when I got to get some shoes. That's, a, that's my only thing. <laughs> when I'm putting on some shoes, boom. And even when I get some stuff, I'm wearing it stylish. Like, it's me, but it's not me. Like, I ain't going to pay a lot for some stuff. Trust me. I'm the king of hitting a, like some factory outlet. <laughs> I will get my stuff there. Because who Rom is, Rom is like, okay, I'm going to spend my money intelligently. And if I do something, it's only because I like it. I ain't trying to impress anybody. You know? Like, I don't, I live modestly. Like, somebody said something about uh, where I live. It said, well, it don't look like uh, it's that much. And I was like, I ain't trying to impress you. All I need is someplace where the air condition works. <laughs> I don't need that much space. Shit. My son's only with me a few days out of the week. I don't need no big place for him. Shit. Probably be too much of a place. Now, if I got something, if I got some bigger place, I ain't doing it for anybody else. I'm doing it because I want to get it. You know, that I'm getting something out of it. You know, might, because I got some stuff. Or somebody mentioned something about my car. I'm like, shit, it gets me from point A to B. In fact, when I uh, when I took it into the shop for, you know, oil change, and I usually always have them inspect other stuff. I had uh, some works done on Works done on my brake. It works. Work done on my brakes and everything. They were like, man, you're really keeping your car up. I'm like, shit, that's all I needed to do. Get me from point A to B. You know, you know I still might get that a fancy car if I start driving around more. But, you know, that's all I do is go from A to B. I don't worry about the appearances. See, if you a man, the main thing somebody should be able to say about you is authentic. Not that you want some bullshit, not that you uh, telling some lies. Because, you know, there's some tr- stuff out there, well, especially when dealing with women, about lying to women and saying, nah, let her know what you are and give her a chance. Give her a chance to decide what she going to do with you, you know, even if it hurts. Now, I remember I met this one young lady when I was still married, and that was somebody I ain't messing around during the marriage and stuff. But, man, she was fine. Trust me, it would have been easy, easy to give her some bullshit. But I said, no, this is what I am. Mention the wife. You know, she looked disappointed. And, shit, she was fine as hell. But I said, no, she she going to know everything about She asked, I'm going to tell her. I don't have time for any bullshit. I'm going to be authentic. Or when it gets into the stuff I like to do with anybody or just myself, I'm going to say, no, this is all I do. You know, a lot of people worried about appearances. But what is it? Let's think about appearances for a second. You trying, it's like status. You trying to impress some people you don't know with shit that you really don't have. Because if you really had it, it wouldn't be appearances. Or if you really live in a certain lifestyle, it wouldn't be appearances. It'd be authentic and it'd be something you like. But people even, sometimes people even get into some stuff because they think it looks good to somebody else. You know, I remember this uh, one woman I dated. 
She was she up there wanted to go to something in the park that she had no idea about. It was some stuff rich white people do. And and I was like, well, are you familiar with any of this? She was like, no. You know, I was like, why are we here? Shoot, because I'm that type. I'm going to rather go get some crabs or something someplace because <laughs> it's authentic because I don't worry about it. And, you know, and sometimes and I'm going to tell you what. Speaking of that, that's actually a class thing. That's the class thing. That's that whole bougie thing, you know, particularly if you're familiar with it in the black community, the whole term. You get some people, they they on some airs or something like that. I'm like, y'all don't got no power. I actually looked at some people. I was someplace. That's why I don't really deal with that population like I used to. Because I was like, everybody acting like they don't want some shit. I was like, yeah. Having one little discussion, what to do for the black community. I was like, that one ain't nay. I'm going to use that country saying nay. I was like, nay one of y'all got shit going on or got the ability to make anything happen. Don't got no influence. Y'all corporate drones, but y'all trying to act like y'all want some shit, you know? Whereas that one dude who was the gang leader in the neighborhood could probably get something done, and they being authentic. You know, that's why I didn't want to do it. They deal with that shit. You got people doing some shit for appearances and whatever. That actually contributes to that whole sexual underworld thing, too. You know? You got people doing stuff for appearances, but their real self is like underneath that but you know and that's something women to do when men do it i think man what the fuck you know it's like nah let them know from the get-go who you are it's like something my father said he said man you can bullshit a woman don't lie to him but i say you can you can bullshit anybody just don't lie to him say this is what i like this is what i'm about you know, and if for whatever reason you don't want to share that, you just you just don't share it. But don't tell them some bullshit you know ain't true. Keep up appearances. Yeah, that's the biggest bullshit because then after a while, you keeping up that mask on or the appearances, sometimes you forget who you are. You're so busy following along, following the script that the time comes when you need to be authentic. Boom. And let me bring this back around to the woman thing again. Because, yeah, like I said, especially in this space, and people still used to me talking about the relationship stuff. Sometimes dudes will put on, many times, not even sometimes, a lot of dudes will put on some appearance, some mask, thinking they're impressing some woman because they think that's what she wants. And then the woman still don't want them, but then sometimes some are lucky enough to find out who they were authentically, the woman would have been more interested in. And see, that's my thing. That's my thing, cause you put it. If you if you authentic, then people can't act surprised when you do or say something, and then they might like it anyway. Cause I don't assume when you meet somebody, never assume what they like. Just determine if they like what you offer, cause then you don't have to think about the lie. You don't have to keep up the mask. You don't have to put up with a bunch of bullshit. You don't have to explain something that's out of way. That's some stress. I'm like fuck that. Fuck that. This is who I am. This is who, if you don't, you either want to deal with it or you don't. You want to get with it or don't. This is what I think about shit. You either want to get with it or you don't. You either understand it or you don't. You know, don't worry about it. If I, if I say something, my word is bond. That's how I actually feel about something. You know? And that's every man need to do that. You know, we got too many fake motherfuckers out here. Let's just be, let's keep, let's keep it raw. We got too many fake ass motherfuckers out here. And there ain't nothing good about that shit. Cause you can't, first of all, if a motherfucker fake, he can't even stand up as a man. How you gonna stand it? Cause the thing, main thing a man is, is what his principles are, what he can stand on. But if he got some little fake ass shit putting up appearances, that means he has no principles that he is willing to stand up for or even fight and die for. Then what kind of man is that? You can't have him in your circle. I won't have him in my circle. It was like I might deal with you. I'll take some money from your ass if you're paying for something, but I ain't gonna put you. I ain't gonna put you in my inner circle. Cause I know I can't trust you. Cause I don't know what the fuck I'm getting. So, men, don't do anything for appearances. Be authentic, whatever it is, and don't think you you got to do this or that to get a woman. All you need to do is get a woman to be the best best version of your authentic self. So. Anyway, 
That's all I got for today. As always, peace and many blessings.